play Through the Woods. Hello and welcome to Hula New Play's short-ish indie horror game. Today I'm going to play a game that I'm looking forward to for ages. Um, this game is a little bit older. It came out in October 2016. Remember that? We were all so innocent. Um, it was developed by Antagonist and published by Fulcrum Publishing. And I remember watching a Let's Play by John Wolfe back in the days. And I really love the whole concept. I love the story. Um, and when I started my channel and switched to PC games mostly, because I initially started with PlayStation games, um, but that was a hassle, um, I, I really wanted to play this for quite a long time. And it's finally the day has come because all the other games in my row that I want to play are so long. And because I've played a lot of longer games in the last couple of months, I wanted to have a game that's a little bit shorter, just a little bit, you know, aside from all the very, very, very short games that I'm playing. Um, so I think I forgot everything about this game, <laughs> except like two or three seeds. Unfortunately, I also remember the ending, but I will not spoil anything. This will be a spoiler free um, playthrough. So yeah, let's just dive right in. Oh, um, just a short thing about the story. Through the Woods is a third-person Norse horror adventure set in a forest on the western shores of Norway that tells the story of a mother and her missing son. So um, Norse mythology, that is trolls. And I have my very own troll book, which I got from my father because he spent some time in Norway. He was even in the papers with the mayor. <laughs> um, and he got me this uh, when he went back, when he came back. And I was obsessed with this book. It's actually a really cheap book because it's, it just has like quotes from old uh, fairy tales and the pictures. <clears throat> but it's mostly the most famous pictures on the trolls. Um, and maybe we will see some of them in this game. Who knows? Who knows? Um, I will reference this. That's why it's lying here. That's my preparation. Um, but now, okay, let's let's just dive right in. So since this is from 2016, please, you know, the visuals, they are from 2016. I remember back then it looked gorgeous. Um, but looking at it now, of course, you know, it's been... I mean, even even six years in the world of um, indie game or game development is a lot. Western Norway. Ha ha ha. So that's us, <clears throat> and he's still there. I'm gonna go exploring, Mom. Okay. No, don't. Okay. Just keep away from the pier. It's old. I will. Oh, it's me. I'm I'm playing as the kid, because oh my god, well, kind of spooky kid. But okay, that's some kids just look a little bit spooky. It is what it is, you know. So not. Can I run? Yes, I can run. Oh. Oh. Ravens are... is it just... hmm... I don't know if... like, because Odin and Loki, etc. I don't know if they're more Swedish than Nor Norwegian. I'm not that firm on the details. It's like with the... you know, they have the Roman gods and then the Greek gods. There's also differences. Um, so I don't, I don't really know. But ravens usually have like a strong connection to northern mythologies. Because um, they were, Hugin and Munin were the ravens from Odin. And they were basically his eyes. I mean, he had one eye, you know, he traded the other one for infinite wisdom, I think. Uh, from the three Norns. They're probably called differently in a lot of mythologies, actually. Um... But yeah, and then he had these two ravens who flew around and, you know, watched and everything the ravens see, uh, Odin sees. So yeah. I was really into mythologies and fairy tales as a kid, so... <laughs> Hello. 
Okay, coming. But that looked. Uh, what? 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 Wow, that water looks dirty. <laughs> but that's probably just the limitations of an indie game, <laughs> because you know, having that clear and reflecting—that's probably a lot of work for graphics. Okay, so we didn't see that much. I thought we would like find some cool stuff. Some, you know, some ominous foreshadowing stuff. But apparently not. Wasn't there also like a, um, a tree house? Can I walk here? Oh, but there's nothing. Nothing at all. But this is a really nice area for a kid. Also to break your bones, but also to play around. Oh, there it is. Where is that? Is that the... Oh god, it's the outhouse. I, I think. What a nightmare. Ooh, look at the flies inside. Or is it moss? Oh, can't go there. <coughs> Um, where was the tree house? I saw it. In the intro. I saw a car. Oh! Look at that. Yes! There it is. <clears throat> Let's see if we can go up there. <clears throat> so I think this is just to get a little bit accustomed to the... Um, controls oh yes we can <coughs> oh but it's very empty look there's a little toy car that would have been exciting for me oh wow Ooh. Um. <coughs> missing dad oh I used to like coming to the cabin better when mom wasn't so lame hey she works all the time and sleeps all day when I'll talk She's only half listening. Don't know what's up with her. Just want to go home. I miss dad. So, is it divorce or is it... Death. There's a house he drew and a little... That is an amazing figure. Oh no! A dead magpie. Askeladen and the princess. Brothers, I found, I found a dead magpie. So I guess these are quotes from... Um, Norwegian fairy tales and myths that you can look up, you know, if you if you want to. I'm taking a dead magpie with me. That's kind of well, maybe to bury it, because as kid, you know, not just as kid. Like I, I, I mean, I don't take if I find a dead bird, I will not likely take it with me to bury it. Um, but I'm I'm always super sad about it. To a fault, like it's, it's you know, it, it can't potentially ruin my day. <laughs> I'm just a soft gal. So yeah, I was growing up in the GDR, uh, which was trying to be a communist state. It wasn't really, um, and part of that was to have a lot of uh, literature from other countries and especially fairy tales. And I think more than in West Germany, actually. So I had a wide array of um, fairy tale books from really everywhere. Like I knew Inuit stories. Uh, I read about African fairy tales. That's you know it, it says African. You know I know Africa is not just a country. You know it's a continent. Um, but that I mean it also was pretty racist in the GDR, just like everywhere. Um, but I knew a lot of fairy tales, Norwegian, Scandinavian in general. Uh, Finnish, Spanish, whatnot. So I was obsessed as a kid with all of this. They are eating pizza. Is she eating pizza? Because it looks like she has a spoon in her hand. No, it's a piece of pizza. Okay. <laughs> that would be the weirdest way to eat pizza, I think. Like cutting it, that's okay. But eating it with a spoon? 
Like if you see that on a first date, that will, yeah, that will make you think. <laughs> I don't know if you could have found more. Mom. Hey, mom, wake up. Mm -mm. Wake up. You've been asleep all day. Okay, it's been. <sighs> I'm up. Sorry. Why do you have to stay up so late? You're always tired. Espen, I came here to work. You were supposed to be with your grandparents this weekend. Sorry. Just let me get some coffee. We'll go night fishing down by the lake or something. I just wanted to go to the bathroom, but it's dark outside. I'm sorry. Go get the flashlight and I'll come out with you. Okay, I was worried for a second that she would send him on his own, which is, that would be mean. Look at the stars, Espen. Um, left click, lap, oh, there we are. Oh, that's, that's a pretty good flashlight. Yes, really nice stars. Ooh, moody. I like it. Oh, we hear the raven. You wait right here, won't you? Of course. Ooh. But he knows it. They, they've they been to this place a couple of times. So, what do you want to do tonight? Mom, I'm trying to pee here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I also need, you know, my we space. We could make some hot chocolate. Mom. Mom. <laughs> Go away! <laughs> Just wait at the path! I can't go while you're standing there! Okay, little man. If you say so. I would have stayed here, though, because I don't want to leave him alone. I guess it's depression. Um, that she sleeps so much. Because that is a symptom of depression. And I, because we don't know if it's divorce or death, but even divorce can be, a, you know can call for grief <clears throat> I don't want to go too far I really don't want to leave him alone I like it I like the environment I think the uh, voice acting so far is pretty good and the dialogue also, it feels, it feels nice. And with nice, I mean it feels organic, you know. Um, the highest benchmark I have for really well-written dialogue that feels very natural, I know it's a cliche, but The Last of Us. Because the conversations the characters even have while you're playing, yet you know, the small tidbits they throw each other, they feel so... Yeah, like normal conversations, you know, they're just genius. Even the stuff you overhear, like the Bettys, you know, saying. It's just, it's one of the, the greatest dialogue writings. Um, and a lot of, uh, you know, The Last of Us is actually one of the few exceptions because a lot of AAA games have horrible or cheesy, cringy dialogue. Do you want to look? Are you okay? Okay, so there. So, do I have really have to go up the path? Wait, to the car maybe. Oh, I don't feel good about this. I feel like I, I'm supposed to do something. I hear the wind picking up. Maybe I have to go out of sight. I mean, the premise is... You done, Espen? Oh, yes. I had to go out of sight of the house. <coughs> Espen? Oh, shit. Let's not look too Stop much. messing around, Espen. I'm not in the mood. I mean it, Espen. Come out. Where is he? Jesus, Espen. Oh. What are you doing? What the heck? Sorry. I thought I'd see if I could scare you after all. I could. You were getting there. Let's go inside. I don't know if I want to make you hot chocolate anymore. Ew. I was only kidding. I'm sorry. Please, can we have hot chocolate? <sighs> okay. 
but don't scare me again. And you're washing the cups. Okay. Hey, can I go down to the pier in the morning? I want to try to catch some crabs. I'm pretty sure you're not going to find any crabs. It's a freshwater lake. Anyway, the pier's broken and dangerous. Please don't go down there by yourself. Fine. But I still want hot chocolate. Kinda already did go there. I'm not going to pretend I was a great mother. When Espen was born, I found, to my surprise, I felt nothing. It's a normal thing, though. My nightmare had come true, and I was left raising a child I didn't love. My friends became distant, and Espen's father and I began to fight. I resented them both, and one day, Espen and me were alone. So divorce. But as Espen got older, I slowly began to realize something. I did love him. I loved him so much I ached. He became my best friend, my favorite thing. Then I lost him. We lost each other. And I don't know if I can forgive myself. Or Espen. I think she in general has- Oh, they was at the window and then he's gone. Espen? Oh shit. He went outside. I mean, yeah, she- Why didn't you wake me up? Espen? Want some breakfast? Or lunch? We have eggs and bacon. Guess he's out playing. Let's read this. Um, <clears throat> Hi, Mom. You're always asleep when I wake up. It's really boring going out to play. <laughs> oh my god, the poopy. <laughs> the poopy drawing. It's a pizza. What's that? Use the radio? What's that? Milk, bread, cheese, salami, pizza, grandiosa, hot chocolate! That's from Espen. That's cute. Okay. Yeah, I think, first of all, I think she had postpartum depression. Because it's not often talked about, but it's not unusual that people... That mu I loved our room at the cabin. <clears throat> Espen's reflectors looked nice in the sunlight and his drawings fascinated me. He soaked up the world. And it bled from his imagination to the page in pastels and pen. The process always seemed to distill the harsh world into something pure. I like her face. It's a bit... It's very Scandinavian. And it's not too pretty. Because video game characters, especially women, look always too pretty. So this is a Viking and this is Puss and Boots. That's adorable. And it looks like an actual kid's drawing. Oh, that's them? Oh, he has an old man face. He really has. So yeah, it's not often talked about, but it's it's not uncommon that if you, you know, people who have a kid look at it and not initially have this weird that everyone else is talking about loudly, you know, feeling that, oh, my life is complete la now. I love this kid unconditionally. Sometimes it takes a while because it can be like a stranger. And I'm not talking about out of my ass here. I talked to friends, you know, who had kids and who had this sensation for a little bit. But then it, it goes away, you know. Oh, I wanted to explore more Espen? inside. Can I go? No, apparently not. Shit. <sighs> it's freezing. Let's... What is he doing out in this cold? Espen? I guess we would first go... I hope you're not down by the pier. Yeah. I told you that thing's dangerous. I think that's where we would go first. Espen, talk to me, little man. Because that's the dangerous thing. And as a mother, we would first look for he better not did the dangerous thing, you know. And then we would go for the other places. Oh, she's not running anymore. I guess. Hey. What? Hey. What? Get away from my what? son. What? Oh shit. Jesus. <gasps> Jesus. Espen. Get away from him! It's been I'm coming! Yeah. I guess.
guess I would have done the no! same. Please! Espen! Espen! Holy shit. Espen! I forgot a lot of this game, about this game. Espen! Oh my god, that's horrifying. Oh, intro title, I love it. I'm a big fan of this. I love this. Like, when this happens in the game, I love it. Oh, we can barely see it. I see the boob. Aspen! Shocking news. Achievement unlocked. That's not an achievement. I just lost my kid. Man. Oh. What's her name? I totally forgot. <gasps> there, the boat. Oh, it's a it's a Viking. That's the Viking boat, all right. Don't know about architecture and boats and stuff. You know, I was into fairy tales and mythology, so don't expect much on that account. Yeah, that's dead, right? Yeah. Shit. Uh, well, I wouldn't throw it away, you know. Okay. So I'm trying to react, like, naturally how we would. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, apparently not. Uh, which direction to go? Wait, what, what's going on here? Oh, all, all ways lead up? Uh, whoop. What is this? Okay, so this goes nowhere. Can I fall? I don't think I can fall. So let's just pretend like we cannot fall. You know, dance like no one's watching, Espen! run like you can't fall. Shit, this can't be happening. Espen! Oh, there's so many. Uh, will this be blocked? This looks like I could go there. I'm always drawn to bridges, so I'll, I'll take this this path. I think this. I don't think we can miss a lot here. Maybe this the other path would lead us here as well. This would be such a nightmare. Like if I saw someone drive away with my husband. But a kid, it's different, you know, because, yeah. Oh, it's that. That's, um, runes. And I cannot read them. Aspen! Oh, wow. She's so... Man, she doesn't stumble. Oh, this is creepy. Ooh. S like, druid stuff. I guess her screaming means I'm on the right path. Some oh, wow, that's impressive. Hello. Can I go in there? No. So I try to explore as much as I can, but I it's it's very possible that I miss stuff, you know. Anything interesting here? Oh, look at that bad. Aw, that's cool. Can I enter here? Yes, I can. Hey, is someone there? It looks so old, everything. I mean, we have a smartphone. It's from 2000. Like, the game is set in 2016. So, this is unnerving. Because everything looks like it hasn't been used in hundreds, if not thousands of years. I think I would immediately think it's like a museum. An old, abandoned museum. Did I hear something? Oh, that's just some flag. Lord. Oh, that's a sword. Let's get this. I don't know her name. Did I miss this? I mean, Aspen only called her mama, which makes sense. Or mom.
Nothing written so far. Oh, what's that? What? A ram's horn. Askeladd and the princess. Brothers, I found, I found a ram's horn. So, in the old fairy tales, you also had basically the rule of three. Um, so the princess had to uh, go over three mountains, find three items, um, spend three nights or whatever. I say princess, but the protagonist in general. So I guess in this case, maybe the, the brothers were trying to save their sister and they had to find three things. I don't know. I don't know the story, to be quite honest. I'm just trying to be entertaining as much as I can be. With the, with the little knowledge I remember from my childhood days. I was a fountain of knowledge back in the days. Like, I, I, like, I memorized all the Grecian gods and a ton of the northern gods as well. My mom was really annoyed with me. Oh, there's a there's a candle. Oh. Old Eric, villager tales. The old bastard came to the village yesterday. The craven war son took Radar's boy away. The bastard, no one saw him come. Though we set a watch come weeks ago. The boy didn't make a sound. The wretched thing. We'd all a mind to go up there at last and put an end to this, but for the gates. The cursed gates won't open to su those such as us. All we can do is bide and hope Raider's boy was the last. The corruption of the man, his heart, if he has one, must be rotted as a month dead swine. And our gods do nothing. A curse on the whole festering pile of them. And curse on the murdering bastard Eric. So you just took kids? Uh, that's... There was a folk tale in the town where I was born about a man called Old Eric. Oh. They said he would sneak into the village at night and steal away children who misbehaved. My parents used to tell me that I had to be good or Old Eric would come and take me. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that the person in the journal could be the same man from the folk tales. But later, Later, I wasn't so sure. Such a horrid thing they used to do, right? Like, if you don't behave, you get taken away and killed. It's like, man, bad parenting. Oh! <laughs> okay. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. I like that, that the doors just open. Like, there's not a... And I like also that she climbs hurdles, small hurdles, by herself. Whoa. Also, the music has changed. It's a little bit sinister now. Look at this. This is made from um, horns. No, what is it? Not horns. Well, deer horns. Like, movement is very smooth. Can we get up here? Oh, but there's nothing. Ooh. Something here? No. That's weird. This looks like that it should have something, but it doesn't at all. Okay, well... go there. It's here. Beds. What? That reminds me of the Witcher! <laughs> Oh my god, yes. Oh, yes. Raka, villager tales. Spied a glimmer from the watchtower in the night. Must be that strange Raka man lighting his lanterns again. The way he skulks around in the dark makes me grip me, me boat tighter. But he's the only one who keeps the pass lit and carries off the dead. 
He's been doing it longer than anyone can remember, though no one knows why. Hardly a one sees him about it either, as he only works in the black of night. The old ones leave baskets of bread outside the fence now and then to keep him fed. Always gone the next morn, unless I watch it through the night. Then it goes stale and gets taken by the crows. Ooh! Seems as much as I want out for the old racker. He has his eyes yet better trained on me. Wow! That's cool. Yeah, so I talked about this in another Let's Play. I don't even remember which one. Oh yeah, I think uh, Excavation of Hobbs Barrow. That in those polytheistic uh, religions, which are religions that don't just have one god, but multiple ones, um, you usually don't have like the clear distinction between good and evil. I mean, even Loki, uh, to give a you know, pop culturally relevant example, is not necessarily evil. He's very selfish and he's a trickster god, so he plays a lot of pranks to amuse himself. But he's not evil per se. And that's, I think, a much more realistic view on the world because in my head, religion is a way for humans to make sense of the world and how it's built and how, you know, horrible things can be explained, especially. Um, because I think the human mind is made up in a way that it wants to make sense of things, you know, it wants order. And I think to, to say, you know, sometimes a thing isn't good or evil, it just is. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh. Oh. That's an old... Is that Thor? Because Thor has... Well, no, it's an X, actually, so it's probably not Thor. Okay. Oh. Oh. This is Miss Spencer. No. He must have dropped it. I'm coming, Esper. I know. Oh. Espen loved his reflectors. He collected them from magazines and cereal boxes, and I bought him a couple from the gas station by our house. He'd hang them from the curtain pole at the cabin and wave his flashlight over them at night to watch them shine. I could hardly believe any of this was happening, but what I did know was the reflector I found was his. What I couldn't know at the time was that he'd left me more, a trail, and that as long as I stumbled across these reflectors now and then, that Espen was still alive. That's a horrible thought, though, to, to know that it, when you don't find them anymore, something has happened Ooh. oh man I hope my recording works it's the worst <gasps> oh Merkstad can we read no we can't so this is the first somewhat supernatural thing that we see outright Aspen! do we see him no I don't I see him be far ahead Oh, I don't like the sounds of this. Oh. That's Thor, the god of thunder. If you want to watch an amazing animation... Shit. Looks like the old bastard pulled the bridge across. To learn a little bit... To jump. I'll have to go down. Okay, to learn a little bit about Norse uh, mythology... Um, there's a movie called Valhalla. It's a very old one and it's a bit cheesy. But honestly, it has more about Norse mythology than any of the Thor movies. Um, like, it packs a lot of stories in there. And it's adorable. It really is. It tells the story from the cup, uh, the viewpoint of two kids that kind of get caught up in Thor's uh, shenanigans. I saw something there. Oh, that's just uh, the outside peeking through. I can link to a trailer. I think I already did it in another uh, Let's Play because I really I love this movie. As a kid, it was one of my favorites. I was obsessed with it. And it's so cheesy, it really is. 
but it's also it's visually very stunning. <gasps> that's Espen's flashlight. And his jacket, that's not good. Oh <gasps> no. That's not good. No. Espen. Oh the music is beautiful. Please don't hurt him. Please. Don't you hurt him! I'm coming, Espen. I'm coming. Achievement unlocked. There is no uh, I in denial. Well, there there is actually. Um, so don't know about that achievement. Espen must be cold without his jacket. Yeah. Shit. Oh, that's a pawn. And I saw Espen's jacket there on the ground. It felt like something inside me broke. I suddenly realized that this was really happening. He had been taken from me. His little coat lying in that dark place. I was his mother. I was supposed to protect him. He trusted me and I let him down as I had so many times before. His jacket was a symbol of my failure. I promised myself I would find him and bring him back. I just hoped that was a promise I could keep. The voice actress is amazing for her. Um, oh, Chuswick. Wait, what do we see here? That's a troll! The upper one. And that's probably like a Viking helm. I'm looking for it, I'm super scared. Do you hear that? I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go, I wanna go back. But yeah, it's my son. I cannot really, can I? Do you hear that? Can I, okay, this is how I click it out. Just in case. <laughs> Nothing. No reason. You know. <gasps> Look at the moon. That's not... That's not a normal moon. Look. Is there... Is there a hole in it? Looks like it was scratched. Also, what was the animal we saw a little bit back ago while she was talking? I didn't want to talk over it. It looked like a monkey, but that's not... Look at this! Oh, we're not on Earth anymore, Dorothy. Oh... Oh... Oh, okay. Gathered Norway to one kingdom. That's probably a reference. I don't know. Look, there's a big person with a loot. Oh, there's a person. So that's a sacrifice. Oh. And that gets, like, it's one of my people who, who, you know, viewed a few of my Let's Plays. They know, like, big gi giant stuff. That's, that's the thing I love and fear. <laughs> um, where should I go? Do I have to go back? Or can I go here? No, I have to go back. Oh, co so this was just to find the little thingy, I guess. Okay. Oh. Uh, ah. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I love the the way she moves. Like you can't really get stuck, which is great because this is a mountainous area, and it would be very easy to completely just you know. Oh yeah, there's this thing about if you're Christian, they will smell you. And if you're not, they will not. So I would be like, 
Yeah, yeah. I would be super safe. Can I crouch? <laughs> but I can't. Oh, shit. It's one of those crouches where... I think it saw me because I had the flashlight on. So let's not have this on. Okay, so this will take a while, because <laughs> I'm super scared. And I'm too scared to have the flashlight on, so I also don't know where I'm walking. Is that its eye? There's a light. Maybe that's where I should go. Yeah, so trolls come out at night, most of them. But they're not the only creatures that can harm you in the Norse ah, mythology. The smell. <sighs> that's dead animal, right? Is that a goat? Don't run. Don't run. I'm sorry for not having the lights on, but... Oh, I think we can have it here, though. Oh, look. Those are human. Oh. Troll! Villager tales. The cursed beast and the fool I am to have entered here, though mayhaps I'd find a hare or two in the troll's lair, ready killed and skinned. Oh my god, thought mayhaps. That is folly! Like, I will not dive near sharks just because I might get a fish. <laughs> Looked for the thrice damned creature for I crept in and saw no sign of it. Fool! I heard it coming too late, caught me here gathering its spoils. Creature shambled in, dragging two bleating sheeps by the legs. How I didn't hear it earlier, I won't live long enough to know. Dashed me twice against the wall. Yeah, it was very quiet. Dashed me twice against the wall and left me moaning as it ate the sheep. Legs broken, jaw hanging off. Doubt I'll see the morning for it remembers I'm here. The fool I am for a hare. Where you who find these, my last words. Harbored. Oh, harbored. I'm so sorry. Troll? What? We saw him. Oh, but you de were dead then. So yeah, as of yet, you don't know it, but I know it. I will keep the lights um, intermittently on and off. I hope that's okay for you. And it's very dark here. So let's see. I think because I've, you know, were was exploring, I probably triggered like the troll to appear maybe a little bit earlier than um, initially planned for the game. Do we see it? I'm so scared. It's so big. It could just bite your head off. That's horrible. That's what I think is so creepy about the big ones. You're s you you're so helpless, you know. Like, they can just grab you, and that's that. Oh, I hear it. Shit, where do I have to go? So, I was right. Did I have to go across the swords? I lost my way. Well, with editing, I can make it less annoying for you. Than it is for me. thought I saw it, but no. But where do I go? Like, I found the cave, but that wasn't the right direction either. 
Do I have to go back? to go I don't know also where is it shit I don't see it is this the way oh is this the way there's a light that's like that feels good. Am I out? Am I am I safe? Here's another light. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that was just the shadow. I thought that it was back. Shit! I still hear it. I don't know where the safe points are. I hope they're not too harsh. Okay. But it's true. <laughs> All of it's true. <gasps> I can't explain it. I can hardly believe it. But it happened. The moon. When I was young, I found some photos of my parents in an old shoebox at their house. I was looking for Christmas presents. They looked so young and in love before I was born. I remember they didn't look like the people I thought I knew. There was something different about them I couldn't understand. I was lifting a veil, and I knew these pictures were not for my eyes. The island was like that. The journals, the troll, the broken moon. I wasn't supposed to see those things. Oh. I was intruding on something secret. Yeah. And I didn't belong there. Yeah. Okay, there's a house. I think this is a good cutoff point. Uh, well, maybe let's see what's in the house. A new text? Yes. Okay. Nakin. Oh, okay. Ah, I know it. Wait, 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 wait. I have one. Um, the Nakin. Um, so, okay. Well, first, first read this and then I will talk about this. <laughs> I'm so excited. Tis said Nuckin lurks in the waters near here. Can't say I've been one for such fanciful stories for yesteryev. So, uh, yester eve. So a small grassy hillock resting in the water. The lake's usually smooth as glass. So I rubbed my eyes and looked again. And by the gods, I swear I saw a pair of eyes staring out at me through the tangle. I blinked, but the hillock was gone with a ripple. I shuddered and bent back to me work. But then there came a bubbling in the waters right near the shore. And a clump of weedy tendrils dripping mud came searching from the lake. I sprinted away to my cabin, gibbering, thinking what kind of gibbering, gi thinking what kind of ghastly creature might follow those weedy fingers. Tis said you can rid yourself of Nuckin if you speak its name. The thought that something could give a creature like that a name is near enough to drive me mad. Okay, so this is the Nuckin, uh, and it hides in the waters, and it will drag you down. And it's not even one of the scariest creatures from the lakes. 
Um, so most of the illustrations for um, these trolls in general come from, I think, two um, people, two artists. And I will um, write that in the video description notes if you want to check them out. Because they are basically the... Um, the, the two people who are responsible for how we portray trolls in general. <gasps> That's the nook. Oh! Oh, this is a cool concept. So it hid, it pretended to be an island. And then if you're lost in the lake, um, you will drive to it and then it will grab you. Oh! Oh, that is scary! Okay, well, well, let's do a little bit more. Oh! Excuse me? I love how this game tells its story. Um, you know, and presents you with all those uh, folk tales. I played two games before. Oh, there's another reflector. Oh, yeah. This pen alive oh. don't be scared little man I'm coming scroll um tell me why hinted at folk tales for trolls etc but then it didn't deliver and then there was one other I can't remember the name but I can also link to that which um, was kind of fun but the ending was a little bit uh, what the heck because nothing was explained in the ending and for me it was like, it was troll baiting. <laughs> no, I'm sorry to use that word. But really, I thought it would be a mysterious, slightly supernatural story, but then it really wasn't at all. But it also wasn't a fulfilling mystery in and of itself. To speak again. We get the troll again? I don't want to. <laughs> it's so scary. Can I? No, I can't go there. Okay, so let's go to this little village. And see if we find. Damn your eyes, woman. I told you we can't stop it. There are other girls. The old bastard mates even come for ours. I'll not let you put us all in danger. Devil take me, you craven bastard. Oh, let me go, Howard. Why? Let me go. Where is it? Where is it coming from? It's probably ghosts, right? I'll be waiting. Harbert! Oh, never returned from his hunt in this eve. Oh, that was the one who got eaten by the troll. That cursed troll took him. I know it. Oh, Harbert. Always sneaking into the horrid creature's hole to pick at bones and stay rotted fur as he was. Troll's too slow and stupid to catch me, oft says. But rare is the day we turn so late. And now, now I sit here hungry and lonesome and wonder from whence my next meal will come. You fool, Harbert. Oh, and then the lipstick. Did they have lipstick? Did the Vikings have lipstick? I mean, I know that lipstick is super old, but still. But yeah, it's kind of, it's cute. Um, there we go. Oh, that's nice. Look at this. Would make for a cool B and B. Oh, what what pick up? Pick up what? Wedge. Askeladd and the princess. Brothers, I found I found a wedge. We're still with Askeladd and the princess. I will see if I find a text for this story and link it in the liner notes because there's a lot of folk stories and myths you can get, you know, on the internet because if some fine folk will just collect these stories and... <sighs> and offer them for people. Which is, that's the nice thing about the internet, you know, that's when the internet is nice. When people just, you know, share their knowledge with others. Hello! Hello! I don't think it's actual people. I think we, s we heard remnants. Hello? To Ingrid. Ingrid, my darling, I've done something terrible and have shamed you and myself. I wanted to fight for you and make you safe. I know this was a foolish notion. Your father saw true. Set out to try to stop old Eric before he could come to claim you. 
but yet I meant to stop me. I cut him. I cut his neck and he bled out. Ooh. I can't wait here for Eric to take you. I can't. I know I'll never earn forgiveness from you or the gods, but I'm leaving. Don't be scared, my sweet girl, and don't you search for me. Perhaps you'll long well raise the sails and join your father upon the lovely ocean once more. With love, your mother. Oh, the mother. Okay, so they married the daughter to an old geezer, and the mother wanted to stop him, and she accidentally killed him. Oh, that is so sad. Good lord. They were here. I heard them. This paper is so old. Yeah, yeah. That's... You only notice now. I mean, yeah, you're kind of focused on something. Like, you're focused on your kid, and I'm more focused on the story, so I get it. Do we find something here? Look at those, also. They're everywhere. Okay, so we're just... Okay. Oh, I don't want to see the troll again. That spooked me. I don't want to get eaten by trolls. But then again, you know, I mean, most deaths are horrible, so... There it is! No. Oh, it looked like... <gasps> Where is it? Yeah, I'm hearing it. So, you're actually supposed to pray when you're crossing the bridge, which I think is interesting that those north northern myths that, you know, are much older than Christianity uh, mingled with that in... Uh, because I think I, I have the theory that a lot of um, missionaries had to combine um, those old myths and stories and religious rituals, etc. With, um, with Christianity to make it work. Because people could not just give up all their belief systems, you know. So they basically had to create compromises. And that's why you have things like if you um, go over a bridge to evade the bridge trolls, you have to cross yourself, I think like cross your heart three times or something and then I think you have to spit into the bridge and then you have to pray that's what I read in in this book you know so it's true <laughs> okay I think this is a good stop um, at time to stop the first episode I'm loving it so far like I knew I would love it I mean I've seen it I think I actually saw it when it came out um, so it's been six years I forgot almost everything. I remembered um, vaguely that there was a section where I had to hide from the trolls, but I don't know how often and how, how many. Um, and yeah, I, it is so well done. Like the voice acting is brilliant. I still love the looks. I know it's not the, you know, everything looks hyper realistic look, but it's, it's a moody atmospheric environment. It still holds up, I think. Like playing this in 2016, knowing that this is an indie game, it still looks really great because it really feels like, yeah, the textures and everything, you know, they're not perfect, but I feel immersed in this world. I love my main character. I think she's very well written. Um, and so far, like the first troll encounter was super scary, especially since I got eaten accidentally. <laughs> uh, but when, when do you not get eaten accidentally? Like there was this one time with the German cannibal, but you know, other than that, <clears throat> Anyways, and I love how they, they weave those myths into. Um, I, I know it's always the things, like some people don't like it when a lot of stories come through finding papers and letters, but I actually am a big fan of that. And I love that we get to know a little bit more about those myths, but also the, the cultures back in the days. So yeah, I'm, I can't wait to continue this. Um, this is gorgeous. How do you like it? Are you afraid of, st of trolls? What do you know about trolls? Have you ever encountered a troll? <laughs> Would they eat you or not? <laughs> um, yeah, and how do you like the main character? Because I think she's not, she's not the perfect main character, um, especially since we saw her at the beginning. She, can't, he, she really did ignore her, her son. And, you know, I can, like, 
I can feel for people with depression, but I also think as soon as you're the parent to a kid, you kind of have a responsibility for the kid, you know? Um, and so it's always a... <sighs> it's a difficult thing to say, yes, they, they suffer from depression, but also they are the adult, so they should make it work. But at the same time, we also see her trying to make it work, you know? So she's not a perfect mother, but she tries her best. Yeah, so how, how do you like her? What's your take on her? Also, if you're new to this channel, well, first of uh, foremost, welcome, welcome, welcome. That was weird. Uh, welcome. <laughs> I'm, I'm from Germany, which you probably have heard already. Um, <laughs> and I play a lot of shortish um, indie horror games. Uh, very few times I play bigger games or by games by bigger studios, but in general I just love games like this or very short ones. Um, I do like a 10 minute super cool game. Um, yeah, and if you like what you saw so far, you know, subscribe and I promise you I will not take your son. Like if your son goes off because you're lying on the couch. Uh, suffering from depression and um, he's just wandering around in the woods I will look I will not even approach him because that would be kind of creepy and you know what like no I would just mind my own business make sure that he's safe you know um, but other than that I would really just let him be and not take him away because I like honestly kidnapping oh it's stressful like I have so much on my plate right now I cannot put kidnapping on that so subscribe <laughs> anyways i hope you had a good time i hope you have a wonderful day and maybe see you next time bye bye this is my self-recorded outro song so i don't get hit with copyright claims if you subscribe you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials reviews and let's plays